Best event is back. But first, banner review. First S Memori. She is the definition of making Shizuko better. First you add 47 more HP percent, replacing Shizuko's hairpin with Memori's badge for more HP. Then add extra attack speed in both her X and sub skill, which is what Aerie does. But where do we see them again? Shiro Koro. But you mostly use her in torment mode. Get high score in one joint firing drill and one challenge stage where you need covers. So she's kind of niche. Similar to S's She's used in more drills with her normal skill with 100% uptime. But in the next six months, she mainly appears in Shiro Koro Rei and Goss. If you want an easier time and don't want to mold with Hinata, note that we'll have a card visual update next Goss. Red cards will be extra red, while the real one's extra green. So if you can't spot the real one here, you can consider getting her. Maybe she'll be used in more raids. Like Esh Chi Sei, she was used in recent hot raids because she can fully fill the CC. C bar of the tower, every X skill, but four raids like Wakamo Hovercraft. Using Kaiko gives a better score. Now, if you play Last Goz Raid, you already know how vital S Shizuko are. So let's go over how next event works. The goal of the event is to conquer tiles, farm limited students like S Shizuko, artifacts, and lots of credits. To capture a tile, you must be near it. Like how you can only copy homework of a person next to you. Normal tiles require 10 AP to capture, and four battle tiles. You can set students from the same school for more damage and easier clear. Once you clear a stage, you can set a different team to get max bonus drop. Higher areas offer better drops, with area 4 dropping purple artifacts, while area 2 only offers grey and blue, or tier 1 and tier 2 artifacts to move from one area to the next. First you need to defeat the area boss, which is the boss in the middle, with number 1. Note that all the bosses has a shield. To break boss number 1 shield, you need to defeat corresponding enemies with number one. It's like to complete a puzzle. You need all the correct pieces. For the number to boss, you need to beat all enemies with number two. But if you want to go to area four fast, defeat number one boss only to move to the next area. Once you defeat it, you need to buy an item from the shop to unlock the next area, which requires 1,000 coins, 2,000 shells, and 2,000 scrolls. So let's go over how to farm them. Assuming you have max bonus drop for area 1, do 91 runs here for 1,000 coins. For area 2, do 50 runs here for 2,000 scrolls and shells. And done. You can play this event however you like. But here are some tips. Avoid clicking these boxes. If you can, they give settlement rewards. So what are settlement rewards? Each time you spend 180 AP and click on the boxes, you earn credits as settlement rewards. The trick to delay getting these credits still works. Just remember that you can only click on an unoccupied tile. That's because the settlement's rewards only calculate credits. Based on the current tiles you own, when you click the boxes. Therefore, the more tiles you have, the more credits you earn. To avoid clicking on boxes, you can use the blue button on the right. This helps you farm event items without clicking the boxes. As you can see from the blue bar outside, currently at 180, it now goes up to 535. Once it reaches 600, you can fight this ship once daily. For extra resources, another way to get more credits is by upgrading tiles. Each upgrade gives you extra credits and S Shizuko elephs. However, some tiles are more expensive to upgrade than others. This one cost 150, while this one only costs 45. Therefore, you want to upgrade the lower cost tile first. In this case, all the 45 cost tiles in area four, three, and two. You want to upgrade area four first because it gives 6,000 credits every upgrade. Compared that to area two, it only gives 4k every upgrade. Once you're done, go back to area 2 to upgrade the next lowest cost tiles. In this case, it's 150. In short, here's what to do. First get to area 4 as fast as possible for better drops. Unlock all the tiles first then upgrade building. Upgrade the lower cost tiles first. Then farm what you need and thanks for watching.